So you guys let me know down in the comments that uh, you kind of wanted me to finish up this mod first, the Twilight Forest, before we move into the Between Lands, even though I'm really excited about the Between Lands with this pack. Uh, but right here, uh, we're kind of on this list. Let's take a look here at where we're actually at. I guess we could actually use the quest book, right? Um, let's go ahead and complete some of the other things here. All right, so the Twilight Forest. We still need to go past the Hydra, so we need to go visit the Night Phantom. That is going to be kind of our next thing uh, before we go into the Urgas. So visiting the Night Phantoms shouldn't be too difficult. Um, we just have to get there. Um, and it, the maze that it is in is kind of wonky, so that's going to be fun. Um, and we are kind of on the bottom of this map. Um, actually, this is the wrong map. I did make another map because we kind of extended our area. Okay, so I know how it's all wiggly and stuff. That's that's normal. Uh, but we need to kind of find where this forest is at. And it looks like... Ah, like straight this way. Straight this way, you can kind of see it's sort of brown. Kind of where my pointer is pointing at right now on the map. That little kind of green, dark green area. We got to head all the way this way. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and fly up this way. Oh, this is so cool. So cool to be able to do this. Uh, but what we're looking for is a really dense forest. Really dense forest. Not this guy. This guy, we've already we've already took, taken out that guy. This is what we're looking for. Nice, dark, misty, scary. You name it. Everything about this area screams we should have something to light us up. And that's where the Ocelot pet comes in handy. Boy, it makes everything super bright. Um, but yeah, we're, we're kind of looking for a specific area. Oh, and there we go. This is the area we're looking for. Um, so let's go ahead and take this guy off so you can kind of see what it actually looks like. It's pretty dark. Um, but what we're need is the Twilight Forest. We're just going to need any head. Any head will work. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Naga head. And you place it right on the pedestal. And looky there, it opens up. And then, of course, you can break it when you're done. Um, so let's go ahead and put this pet on. Boy, that is so bright. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to be better off throwing some torches down as needed. Wow, these, yeah, these guys aren't, they're not going to be too bad. But, I mean, their health is definitely being buffed. So they are going to be a little bit tougher than normal. Look at, look at this, look at this fella. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. All right, so we're looking for a very specific place in here. Oh, this is kind of blocked off here, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, we're going to find a bunch of loot as well along the way. Feather falling. Three. Not too interested. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot in here, though. There's a lot. But we're looking for a specific room. Kind of a room that looks like this, but has obsidian behind it. Get that guy out of here. Wow. This thing does no damage. Oh, there's another creeper. <laughs> See, it's kind of we're kind of looking for a door that looks like that, um, but it has obsidian, and it, you know it's kind of hard to miss. Like if you find it, oh, <sighs> yeah, it's this. <laughs> oh my gosh, we found that so. This is this has to be the second world, the second time I've played Twilight Forest where I've found this thing. That fast. I, usually it takes me forever to find this thing. And we just found it. Wait, did we find it? Oh no, this is like the edge of the wall. Weird, because this is normally what it looks like. Oh, I thought I got lucky, but I didn't. Ha, got you guys. O okay, so I, I just come down the stairs. It. This is the area. It's just glitched out for some reason. Because this is the boss room. Yeah, watch. If I clear this, uh, clear this obsidian out, watch what happens. It's probably going to lead me right to the area. Let's go back over here. Wow, 256 obsidian. Wow. If we go right back up here, this is where I thought it was at. This is where it actually is. I would have never found that had I not mined out this obsidian because I would have been looking forever. But it's right here. Okay, so let's prepare ourselves. We walk in. This is what we got to deal with. All of these guys we have to take out. And they have 100-something plus damage now. They're being buffed. Yeah, it's going to be just a swing fest, right? To go after one and then go after the others. They each have their own kind of cool attack as well. 
I really like these guys. All right, let's 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 do this. Phantoms, you're mine. Nope, nope, come here. You, over here, don't run away from me. I, it's so, I hate that they can go through walls. I hate that they can go through walls. I'm gonna have to slowly get rid of them one by one. Wow, they have so much health. This guy's at 30%. Oh, yep, there's one of the attacks that they can do. Oh, that one's gone. And yeah, you have to take out every single one of them. Get this guy, he's almost done. Almost dead. This one, almost dead. And last but not least, we got it done. And right here is our reward for it. So protection, uh, verdant it. Okay, is never lost on death. Kinda cool, I don't remember that being on there. Extra damage to unarmed targets. Very rare in this, uh, this at this point. Having an unarmed target, <laughs> that's very unlikely. All right, so after we defeat this boss, I mean, there's a lot of this area to kind of explore. We still barely touch the surface. I mean, there's trees and saplings in here too. They're kind of worth it. These chests have some loot sometimes in there. Like if you're needing equipment, these places are awesome for it. But other than that, I mean, we're pretty much done with this area. We, we have now unlocked the ability for us to go to the gas tower. And uh, that's where we're going to head next. We're going to get this done. We're getting this guy completed today. All right. So on our map, which is kind of hard to see. Um, let's see. We need to go straight. Right. Go just this way a little bit more. And then we should enter a big open area. I'm kind of excited about it. I really want to take these guys out. And uh, th this one is probably one of the harder bosses. But I do kind of want to work my way through the tower. I know you guys are like, oh, don't cheat the t don't cheat this tower. But to be honest, I've got to get I've got to get through here. This is probably the, the hardest puzzle or the hardest place to uh, to go through. Let's go ahead and uh, like if you if you were just doing this without any type of flight or anything like that. Here we are. So this is the beautiful tower. And here's our entryway in here. Let's see, what do, we, what do we get from the Illuminati pet? Golden dart. So we just got a dart from there. Okay. Let's open up. Oh, what is shooting at us? Oh, it's a druid. I was like, what is that? Okay, so here we go. We're going to work our way through here and see if we can't get pretty high up in the tower. I mean, usually I want to find a key, find a couple keys. That's the goal. And then make it up uh, even further. Oh, here we, here we go. Okay. Here is the cool puzzle sequence. Let's get these guys down though. All right, so this is a puzzle sequence. This is meant so you can't, you're not supposed to be able to like block up here, but of course you totally can block up here. Like if you, or you can fly up here if you have like some kind of flight unlocked, but it's meant to prevent blocks from being placed. I think if we like try placing like wood, for example, it's not supposed to let you place wood. Yeah, see, it'll start removing it. See? So what you're meant to do is to actually use these uh, these puzzles here. Use these to get up to where you need to go. So like, for example, right here, what direction you're looking. So like if I'm looking, I hit this and I look up, it should start taking me up. See, it'll actually start going up. And if I look this way, it's going to start going in the direction I'm looking. Kind of cool. Um, I need to figure out, though, a good way to technically use this to get up here. Let's uh, let's turn this on real quick. There we go. Super bright. I mean, technically, you could jump up this. I don't think you'd be able to make that. Let's see. Where would I want to take this? This one actually looks like a pretty rough puzzle. Um, I mean, I guess you would go this way, this way. That didn't go very far, did it? Kind of, it gets stuck. Hmm. Let's try this way. There we go. So we got up that way. 
And then we use this one to probably do the same thing. Like, you just need to keep jumping. This one, not so much. This one's probably going to be more or less used to go across. Yeah, there we go. And then jump over here. But yeah, you're pretty much just working your way up this uh, up this staircase here. Ooh, and there's a uh, there's a gas. We don't have it. Do I have my ranged? I do have my ranged. So let's shoot this guy. These are the the mini gas that you're gonna see spawning. Um. Yep, this one. Just look this way. Then this way. Look how cool that is. We've almost made it all the way up here. It's so weird with this. The, the flight is so awful sometimes. And then we're, we're up here. <laughs> Get out of here. All right. So we made it up here, right? Bunch of anvils, bunch of things. I don't think there's any, there's never been anything. Oh, there is coal in here. Look at that, there's actual charcoal in there. I never actually bothered to look and see if there was anything in these things. Don't know why. Probably should have. All right, let's continue up. Oh, here's a chest. Oh, some glistening melons. So basically giving you the ability to make some potions like right away. Ah, this is a, uh, so this room right here actually needs a key. So we need to actually find that key. Oh, this guy's not a friend of mine. What is that? It's a Kamenite, what? Kamenite, did I, did I read that right? Kamenite golem? All right, there's a spawner. The last thing I need is you. I need to eat, is what I need to do. Oh, this guy's invisible. There's a spawner for him. All right, and in here. There we go. I guess we pull that out. I guess it doesn't even need to be there, does it? So usually there's a key in here. I'm going to take these charms. Roll this stuff. Oh, I need my steak. Don't really need much else, though. Everything else that's in here is kind of clogging up my inventory. Oh, Illuminati pet. I do need you. Never know what I can get from you. Blueberry juice. How nice. Oh, there's another chest right here. Yeah, we need to push this block and pull it back. That's what you have to unlock it with. Just some nothing, nothing. Oh, big boy. Got a, got a lot of health on this guy. Is there one behind me? We're so power. It just it just blows my mind how powerful we actually are. It just blows my mind in this pack. I thought this pack. I honestly thought this pack was gonna be a bit tougher. I didn't realize that the um, I didn't realize that the stuff the the stuff that's in this pack was going to be so dramatic. Whoa, just got teleported basically. I didn't realize it was gonna be that dramatic when it come to all of the stuff that you could just tack onto yourself. This has almost 500 health. This is a this is a a boss. What does it say? Rare decaying tower golem, the NASA? What? We'll get him dead though. There we go. You better drop some. You didn't even drop anything nice. Wow. Okay, so yeah, still the goal is to Oh, here's a here's another puzzle area. But still, when you go up into these areas, you're supposed to be able to find a chest. This might be a place that has a key. Oh, it doesn't have a key in it. So yeah, when you reach this point, well, you might as well go back down and choose another door because you didn't find the right one. We gotta keep going until we find a key. So let's try this room. Nope. 
There might be something in here. Ooh. All right, so here's another chest. And no key, but we do have some cake. That's the cake you actually get at the end after beating this guy. So I'm not quite sure what this was supposed to do. There was something redstone there. Oh, we're back at these guys again. Wow. We'd be chopping at these guys forever if we didn't have this crazy sword. We would be chopping at them forever. Oh. What's up, man? <laughs> Alright, so we're looking for another another hall area. That potentially has another puzzle. Like this one... Oh. Look at that. All right, here's another chest. Diamond and cake. Um, I'll take all the cake, but not much else in here. Please be a key. No key. I kind of just want to use the key. I just want to use the key to show you what it does. No key. There's a key. So here's the tower key. <laughs> This is what you're looking for. Um, so we need to go all the way back down this and go back to our main room. Actually kind of fun going all the way down. Um, I think it was this way, this way, this way. Nope, not that way. Was it back up here? No, it was not this way. I don't remember it being there. Did I go the wrong way? I feel, I feel like I went the wrong way. Down here. There we go. Yeah, now I know where I'm at. Okay, so this room that is now filled with a bunch of mobs. For some odd reason. Okay. I'm, I'm completely stuck to the ground because of this beetle. But this right here. Quit. Let me go. We'll get there eventually. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is what you use. You hit this. Oh. Hit this on the, the wall. There we go. And we gotta find more keys. And this will be where we actually go in. Oh my God. That is so bad in there. I should have lit this up with some torches. So I went ahead and got the last few tower keys. And uh, what we need to do now is just kind of open the rest of the door up. All right, let's do this. Boom. Boom and boom. That allows us to go. Ah, don't even get out of here. You're ruining the fun. You know that, creeper? <sighs> now we can go into here. Just like this, like I said, this is like one of the biggest puzzles you have to do. It is absolutely ridiculous. And, you know, the thing is, I could just literally fly up to the top and start the battle. Yep, that's something you could also do. I think you can also pillar up with blocks on the outside of the building. Is another thing you could potentially do. Yeah, if you were interested <laughs> in knowing ways to exploit this place. So uh, I kind of already have a little sneak peek of uh, where we need to go. Right up here. So kind of like a hop skip away. And we're at the gas now. It does get a little bit noisy, so I will make sure to turn the volume down for you guys. Because this is going to get a little loud. Let's just go up here to the main spot. You definitely want to you definitely want to clear out as much fire as possible. Cause it gets yeah, it gets bad if you don't. Okay. Um, I don't know why this is here. Also get some cobblestone. Because we're going to need some of that. Um, to basically fill up holes and stuff in the floor. And also, you know, use it as cover. Alright, I think gas is nearby, right? Alright, let's head up a little bit more. Wow, oh, there's another... Look at all that cake. That's like more cake than you get at the end. Okay. Well... There, there it is. Um, this is a guard. What? 
Ammonite gas guard. What? This is not the uh, the gas. The gas is up there. That was a big gas, though. All right. So we still got to make our way up. Let, you know what? We're just going to head right up here. Prepare ourselves because it is a little bit of a boss battle. But this is kind of the stuff you want, though. The stuff that are right here prior to this room. There's some cool stuff here. Like, look at this. If you just break these frames, it kind of tells you what, how to craft certain blocks. Um, also, this right here tells you to do this. And look what happens there. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. How ridiculous is that? <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten lucky and, and actually got that to work. Usually the build was somehow just like messed up. But yeah, it definitely broke the blocks, but it shows you how to create that the thing that does that. That's hilarious. All right, come on, gas. These little, little guys do drop gas tears, though. All right, so, yeah, sometimes you want to take these things, definitely these drops, even though you get some more after killing these guys. Bam, take you out. Nice. Oh, here's another one. Nice. I love how it turns to this, like, almost enticing you, like, haha, come get it. But nope, definitely not. It's definitely an explosion. It's actually moving me around, pushing me around. Boom. Okay, so. <laughs> now that we have that, let's continue up. I'm going to go ahead and grab the gas here, grab this. This one's an empty one. And we're making it up. All right, here we are. So this is the bad guy, right? And we need to make sure these pressure plates do not get destroyed. This is such a weird area too. Um, yeah, we need to make sure those get no, those do not get destroyed by this gas. It will make it really hard on us. Really wish I could just break these blocks. Alright, so what we need, we're basically going to attack this guy for a little while. I would say we can hit the uh, hit the balls back, but it doesn't work that well with the, the mod in here. Alright, so this is causing it to rain, and those drops actually hurt you a lot. But this is what we need to do. We need to kill a bunch of the mini ghasts over here, like kill these guys. Ow. We kill these guys and we turn this on. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring this guy down to us. But we do have to kill the, the small guest first. And then just pelt him with, uh, with bows until then. Bows and arrows. It does take a while. This, And I guarantee you this boss is also being buffed. By some other factors as well. Oh, man. Oh, nice. We hit that back to him. Ah, here we go. Okay. So this is what you need to do. Kill these guys. And it feeds it. You see? And then we step on it. And it's supposed to bring... It's supposed to bring, um... Bring him closer, but it didn't. Did it? Weird. Sometimes it's weird. <laughs> so yeah, this boss takes a little bit of time to kill. Um, basically, just pelt, keep pelting with arrows. Wait for these uh, mini gas to spawn. They do like the more damage you deal to this guy, the better. But you definitely want to keep it close. So I think it's gonna work on this one. There we go. And look how much look how much damage it, you can get on this thing. When it's doing that, it allows you to hit him. 
Oh yeah, we're definitely knocking them down. Now, you basically want to just basically trap. Trap the gas. All right, so there it is. Wait for him to come over here. And then we'll suck him to us. Get a few swings in and... That's how you do it right there. That's how you take out this boss. Super simple. You know, you just got to make sure to do this. And there's our chest. Look at that. So yeah, it's not as bad as it looks. It does take a little bit of time. Uh, just making, you just have to basically wait for the uh, the baby gas to spawn. But once you get all of them to spawn, you're ready to go. And then you can walk around looking like Cthulhu. Nice. <laughs> and then make sure to, to, of course, get rid of all the, all the baby gas. Yep, that's the thing that just happened. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see this video, guys, a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.